All right. What is up? We are back, finally, with another episode, <laughs> or at least another video, anyway. Um, we're, we are actually going to be doing, I'm actually going to be starting a new series. Uh, this series is going to be called Alpha to Atom. And the goal of this series is essentially going to be, um, I'm going to take it slow in this series, and I, I want to show people, essentially new players, how to go about progressing in V Rising, and uh, basically, essentially, a way to speed up your progression so you you don't feel like uh, you're getting left behind whenever you start a new wipe or a fresh wipe. One of the biggest complaints I've seen, like most common complaints I've seen in this game, by far, is essentially people who people hating the idea that they're losing their progression or their progress every time a server wipes, and so they're like, "Well, why would I even start?" on an official, why would I, I would just want to play solo, I'll play on my own private server, that way it won't get wiped. And you know, I can relate to that, I, I understand where you're coming from when, 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 you know, with that idea, because you know, for instance, whenever I've played Valheim, I only really enjoyed playing it solo or with friends, because it was kind of just like the experience of playing the game that I enjoyed the most. Um, I had didn't, didn't have much interest in doing like PvP, it was just fun to like explore and kind of do your own thing. But V Rising, for me, is very different. It feels almost like a static MOBA or like MOBA without, you know, like minions or what I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, kind of like a static MOBA over a huge map, like an open world MOBA, I guess you could say. Um, and that to me is one of the coolest features of the game where like, you know, it, it goes for a long period of time instead of like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour, like an, uh, other MOBAs do. So, um, Essentially, what I'm going to yeah. So my plan is essentially I'm going to start a new. I'm going to start a run on a server. This is a, a server that's already been established. It's a private server, um, and it has increased resource gathering, three times refine rate, and other than that, it seems almost everything's about the same. Like I think the bosses might be a little bit more difficult. Sun and garlic are a little weaker. Uh, but other than that, everything's pretty much the same. And just know this, the goal here is I'm not trying to push to get the shards and race anyone. This server's been live for like, I think since launch. And it's not going to get wiped for another two weeks or so. But my goal is essentially just to show kind of like a blueprint, a standardized blueprint in order to um, give people an idea or like something to kind of like keep in mind when they start a new wipe because i think people would be shocked or surprised just how quickly you can push through progression especially the early like act one and even act two so uh we're just going to start real quick here i'm going to show you really fast okay so we're going to use this right here this right here not that over here I know this is looking kind of jank, but essentially what I'm going to be doing here is following somewhat of this process. This isn't exactly perfect. I know this is very confusing. You're looking at this like, what in the world am I even looking at? Essentially, I'm just going to be going down the list here. This is going to be in another monitor. I'm going to be trying to follow this as best I can. The idea is essentially like, this is primary things like primary goals, secondary goals, and then like tertiary. And then, you know, these are like the things that kind of are sticking out to this. It's like, eh, if you could find it, let's go ahead and get it done. This is probably, you know, Forge Floors should probably be over here. Um, and Tailoring Floors and whatnot. We'll go over here. But anyway, so like we're, we're going to be focusing on these things first, like first and foremost, and then looking at these as like a secondary objective. So anyway, hope that helps. Uh, one second here. Okay. Okay. So we are now going to get started here. Again. Uh, loot and whatnot might be a little bit different, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is essentially just, you'll get the idea uh, as I'm going through, I'll be explaining, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it right away. So obviously whenever we start, everyone starts the tutorial at level zero and we might be wondering, you know, what exactly, you know, you know, like, should we just skip this part? What exactly should we be doing here? Like if I already know the tutorial, what should we be trying to do here? Like, do we need to worry about it? And the answer is, um, there's a couple things you can do, honestly. Some people skip the entire zone and just immediately go in and start killing wolves. Me, personally, I like to just to collect a few things in here and get myself set up so that I don't have to really worry whenever I leave. Uh, there's a lot of early loot here. They've dramatically increased the amount of skeletons and things that drop, so or that, that you can fight. So I'm just going to... Essentially, what I do here is the goal 
is to essentially have enough bones and things to be able to, uh, let me do this, a little secret, little strat here. Once we make for this bone sword to figure itself out, and we got it. One. Oh, that's right, we have increased crafting time in this. I was like, man, that sword finished in like two seconds. <laughs> so yeah, so essentially what we're doing here, we're trying to get some bones so that we can make our ring and essentially we'll, we also want to have enough bones to make our armor if possible or at the very least two pieces of armor so all right we're gonna go this way so already we have 81 which is definitely more than we're gonna that's more than enough for the beginning here because we're gonna actually run through this grab these We'll kill another guy just in case. Grab another bone here. Rats are nice. So we're at 64 bones left. That's actually, I think that's enough for these two. 30, no, 16, 16, yeah, we're good. All right, so we have just enough bones for that. And we're going to go East Farbane. Jump down here, ignore this. We are now looking for wolves. We want to kill about two of them. So we'll have enough hide to make our gloves and boots. Um. And I could chase them down. These are really annoying to follow, so I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about it. We are looking for wolves. We're also looking for blood rose petals. The, a blood rose flower, which are really nice. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be walking to Alpha Wolf. This right here is the closest Alpha Wolf spawn. So we're going to be going there. And in the meantime, looking for any kind of animals. Wolves, bears. That is what we want. We're going to ignore trees, ignore those types of things. Okay, here's a moose, here's a wolf, okay. Is he chasing it? Is he actually gonna chase it? Uh, I don't think he's gonna be able to catch that guy. <laughs> the wolf is just like, come on. There we go. All right, so here's wolf number one. All right, uh, not enough to make two. So we're gonna need one more. We'll also need a few bones, uh, spider. I might actually try to kill this wolf or this moose here. Moose have a lot of stuff that we like, but he's just we're gonna run. I don't feel like chasing him. <laughs> Some more wolves up here, perfect. Alright, so we have 26 and 1. So we're gonna suck that the blood of this guy. And so obviously we'll need more rugged hide than just this. But for now, this is gonna be enough for us. We're gonna make we keep our vermin salves here before we use our bones to make a vermin salve, which is obviously really nice. We need to worry about making axes. We'll also need enough bones to make a mace after this. But for now, we're just gonna keep running. Don't worry about cutting down trees. Just don't worry about it. Uh, because when we get to Alpha Wolf, he should probably he might likely he will help us cut down trees. Oh, there's a decayed castle right there. I might have to keep that in mind. I'm going to mark it on my base, on my map. I'd be able to use that to our advantage later. If need be, if we need a nice base spot. Uh, it's not the best spot, but it'll do if we have to. Ignore all this. Gorswine is kind of, he can be around this area sometimes. But we are going to ignore that for now. We don't really care about him yet. And we're looking for Alpha Wolf. Alpha Wolf has three spawns. Uh, so we're looking at this spawn here. I don't see him over there. He could be in his den. A little bit of nighttime left. Alpha, are you over here? I see a blood rose. She's not here. He could be in this area. There's a bear over there. Oh, a little 10 there. I could draw my PvP protection, but he's got nothing, so it's not really worth it. Uh, we could kill that bear. Not really. We don't need to worry about that right now. We are essentially just looking for Alpha Wolf, and we can leave if need be, and go to. Oh, there he is. Go to another spot, but he is here waiting for us. So we're going to fight him and checking to see if there's anyone else. So he's level 16. We're going to pull him over here because it's going to be daytime soon. And we'd be, it'd be good to, oh, there we go. So we're just gonna be using our two moves. 
backing away, giving him plenty of space. We don't want to get hit by this. Oh, he's going to be so he's going to get angry here. So we're going to dodge this. Keep running. He's going to keep attacking us. There we go. Oh, he's going to do a th triple dash here. And stop. Now he's probably going to howl and summon dudes. There we go. He's got two wolf buddies. And we have these little health orbs, so if we're getting a little low and getting nervous, we got these little orbs here for us. Alright, he's going to get angry. We're going to run here, because he actually is going to try to get us. There we go. There we go. It looks like he's going to dash three times again. And three. Alright. I'm kind of just going to ignore those wolves, just keep running around and make it harder for them to get us. There we go. And I can suck it. Suck the wolf. And remember, whenever we down these guys... Interesting. And... Oh, I thought he was going to dash. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so he's here, he's close to these trees. This is why we didn't cut down trees. Check this out. It's just a small time save, but you're going to see how nice it is. And boom. Look at that. Boom. Oops. What is happening here? Where's my... Oh, Apple was on the top. That's weird. Very strange. So we are going to grab all these things of wood. So, as you can see right there, I mean, we just got that pretty much immediately. So, uh, you know, we just got Alpha Wolf immediately there. I'm actually going to do this because I'm used to having Alpha Wolf right here. <laughs> so, there we go. And what we're actually going to do next is we're actually, instead of going, you know, so obviously we have a little bit of time left. Normally, I have a 30-minute PvP protection. We have an hour on this server. No big deal. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to, like, I don't really care about having an hour. Uh, so, I'm not going to, like, try to, like, take advantage of it and, you know, be cheap. I guess you could say, like, you know, cheese it a little bit. But I am going to show you what we can do in the 30 minutes that we have. So we're going to hop down here. We got Rufus here. We're going to ignore these guys for now. And we are looking for these barrels. Looking for planks. We also want to try to find, if possible, lumberjack axes. Obviously, ore is really nice. He's chasing us here. But his leash range is actually pretty small. So he's going to, yep, there we go. These little workers here actually have a pretty decent chance to drop lumberjack axes. And lumberjack axes, they're basically these weapons, you can call them like bandit weapons, I guess you could say. They are very, very good for early game progression. It actually lets us speed up progression a lot. So that's why we come through here. Uh, that's why I like to come through here. Because it actually gives me the... She actually, look at that, he's aggering on me. <laughs> that's okay. That's funny. More rugged hide. And we gotta worry about these guys. There we go. So essentially, uh, what we're doing here is we're trying to kill these guys to get our... There we go. That was the annoying guy. Sorry. <laughs> I like to make sure the guys didn't catch me and wreck me. So, yeah, the goal here is essentially going to be to look for these Lumberjack axes because it lets us it lets us not have to go to base before we can farm copper. So, nothing there. We did get a little bit of copper in terms of drops. I'm going to go back and check that gold chest that was over there. So, hoping we can sneak by Rufus. I believe it was right there. No, it's over here. Okay. All right, kill this guy. Still no stuff. Okay, we're going to unlock this even if the sun gets us. It's okay. Okay, so that's nice. That is super nice for the coins. Now we have 27 coins. The goal as well to keep in mind is we want to get enough chests to get 40 coins to get a merciless copper recipe. There's nine more. We're four away. That's kind of like another... Oh, here's more here. Nine. Boom. We're done. Okay, so we have all the coins we're going to need. Like, we, we need need. Um, obviously, getting having enough for forged floors is also extremely nice. Very important, honestly, but you can kind of do that at your own pace. You don't have to do that right away. 
I'm doing this because I saw... Oh, eh, probably would have been nice to keep that, but it's okay. No big deal. Alright. <laughs> and there, there we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're worried about this chest here. Again, we're still looking for Lumberjack Axes. Oh, I think that might be Lydia over there. I'm not sure, though. I'll check. It could be Alpha Wolf as well. There's another spawn up that way. Okay, so we got silver coins. We can't keep that. We don't care about this. Uh, clay and stone dust, I don't really care about. I saw something going on up here. I'm going to go check to see if that's Lydia. Because it, it is a chance it could be Lydia up here. Okay, it could just be these guys patrolling. So Lydia does like to walk around this area, which is why I'm checking. Okay, we'll kill these guys. Again, we're looking for those lumberjack axes. Or a reinforced, bo reinforced bone weapon is would also be ideal. Oh, okay, so we see some more blood roses. Remember, we're looking for these as well. We need 32 of those, so we're at 30. So we're one blood rose away. Thirty-two of those. Now, a lot of this is just because, if from memory, uh, you might be wondering, like, how do you even know this? I just have done it enough. It used to be thirty. Now it's thirty-two. I kind of just remembered that because it's important information for me. You know, not having to go out and get. Oh, let's dash into the sun, into the shade here. Okay, we have another chest here, which is nice. The little patrol coming this way. I don't know if I want to worry about those guys yet. All right, they're coming anyway. Fat Gobi. Ooh, there we go. See, look what we just got. Lumberjack Axe. Boom, that's why we killed him. And now we can immediately begin farming copper. Huge, huge deal. That's such a nice thing to happen. Like that right there is a such a big, big deal in a run. It may not seem like it, but think about it this way. You know, you have all the time, you, you have to spend a bunch of time, like, getting into bait, like, going around, looting some stuff, killing Keeley, that kind of thing. Would you rather do that and then come back to base with or without copper? Because if you come back to base with copper, it means you can immediately, immediately, you can begin... There we go, I'll grab that blood there. Yeah, sorry, it means you can immediately start smelting the copper or refining the copper, so that's a really big deal. Really big deal. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna look at my PvP protection as like a timer. We've spent 13 minutes so far. And so at the 13 minute mark, we're about halfway in. What do we got here? Ooh, Chaos Volley. That's actually super, eh, that's actually a pretty bad one, but. <laughs> it's kind of a meh Chaos Volley. Uh, go this way. Can I hit this? I think I actually, oh, I can't do it yet. I need Copper to get that. But look at what we have so far. 13 planks, pretty solid. Um, having some planks before you know you base is really nice because especially if you get enough planks and uh, if you get enough planks to put down Keeley's tannery right away. So uh, I'm gonna drop this, this, and this. We don't care about that. What do we got here? All right, so it's a trapper versus a tree. Okay. Don't really care about this. <laughs> Nuked him. Bye bye tree. Good luck. Gonna run from that guy. Okay, so I see some... Okay, this guy left his garden out. <laughs> so we're gonna grab some Blood Rose. <laughs> I don't need the Morning Lily. Oh, actually, the Morning Lily might be nice. We'll still grab it. That's kind of funny he left it there. Alright, there we go. Get some more of this. And we're gonna go kill Keeley here. Again, we're halfway into our PvP protection. Just keep, like, of what it would be on an official server. There we go. And we already have this loot. So before I go, I'm actually close to this, which is a trader. So we'll stop at the trader before we leave. So we haven't found Lydia, which the only thing that can make this run like perfect at this point is it, it would be finding Lydia. <laughs> we found Lydia before we left this whole area, like if we, on the way back, that would be an enormous, enormous, situation but for now we're just gonna kill these guys we're looking for a linen 
thread. Or sorry, coarse thread. Uh, coarse thread is definitely the next big thing. We're gonna coarse thread and leather. That was very fast. <laughs> I was like, what? The f I was like so fast. I wasn't ready for it. I think you had a what's it called? Pot on. All right. So there's Keely. We're gonna hit some, hit some things while she comes over here. Got a little chest here. Nice. Of course, thread. We're looking for leather now. We're gonna hit her. We're gonna pull her in here. There is a little guy in here. And he's dead. All right, cool. So we're gonna fight her inside here. She's a very easy fight. Two moves. She's level 20. I'm 14. Dash through this. Okay. I'm gonna wait to use my. Oh, we're gonna counter this. Then we're gonna hit her with this. Oh, she dodged. <laughs> Look at that little sneaky, sneaky dash. Okay. We're gonna wait to see what it is, and we're dashing. Countering. Easy. I know it's a little tricky there, but you you wait to see where the circles are going to line up before you dash from this. Or now we're going to walk away. Oh, we got hit. It's okay. Oh, now this is a problem. So, so we're actually going to have to do this and focus these these guys here. So I'm gonna kill these archers. I can run from these guys pretty well. So this is yeah, this is kind of annoying when this happens. Sometimes you aggro these people in the back there. That you just don't want to get stunned by that guy. <laughs> For real, like that would be a very big big deal. All right, dodge this. All right, see that gives a little bit of oh, so like this. That's not good. Walking out. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> a little tricky there. <laughs> it was like definitely a very strange situation. <laughs> getting aggroed by that. But that's okay. If you can take your time, you'll be just fine. Alright. Got that. We have a little bit of daylight left. Again, we have 12 minutes left of the reg standard PvP protection. So we've gotten this down. Ideally, I would love to see if I could. Chanted Brew. That's pretty nice. Ideally, I would see. I would like to see Lydia, but if we don't see Lydia, it's actually okay because we can track her very easily. Uh, right now, I'm clearing every single one of these things if I can to look for leather, which is going to give us a little boost into our um, boost into our Night Stalker armor. Dodge that. Find a decent amount so far. What are we at? 20, that's pretty solid. And there we go. Alright, what was this gem? Shadow Bolt. Nice. Knocks him back pretty far, which actually might be useful. I think I didn't get this, which we definitely want. Alright, coarse thread. We definitely want coarse thread. More leather, that's super nice. Essentially, we're getting as much leather as we can, and when we get back to base, we're going to make as much Night Stalker armor as we can right away, and the other pieces, we're going to make uh, Reinforced Bone Blade. And by doing that, we'll just take that and use that to be the level we are um, in order to fight the rest of the bosses in this zone. So kill this guy real quick. Open these boxes. Of course, let's see how far this knocks him back. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> it's nice for this early on. Ooh, nice sucker vest. So this is this is I actually don't care about this honestly. I know some people might want to upgrade early on, but I don't upgrade. All right, is that enough? Any chests? I don't see any chests. So we're going to check on the. Oh, we're gonna check out here. Paper. Free stuff. Let's say no to free stuff. Okay, we're going to Trader Post. Shady Merchant Camp. We're looking for books. All right, now we get to decide we're going to do Axis, Spear, Mace. I'm going to go Mace. Mace is one of my one of the best, probably the best early weapon in the game. It's just extremely, extremely strong. Um, in terms of other, how many other? 23. Do I have anything else I can get here? So he has Alchemy Flooring. Don't care about that. Mace is Topaz. So instead of having to look for this, 
There, I'll buy two topaz. Um, I actually bought one because oh, I'm one short. That's funny. <laughs> That's kind of lame. Uh, hmm. I guess I could try to kill the other guys. And eh, we're just gonna go. We're only at ten minutes left before regular PvP protection is gone. So I'm going to head up this way, like this, because with the ten minutes, we do need to find a base. But I'm wondering if we could find Lydia. Um, obviously, the more um, the more copper, the better. But we already have that many, that much right here, eight hundred. That's more than enough to get what we need. Okay, so we don't like these guys. Dodge that. Check Lydia. She could be around this area. This guy's getting destroyed by some wolves. Sorry, bro. Rest in peace. We're going to check through here real quick. See if there's any easy chests to grab. Nothing there. Wow, really? There's one here. And we are going to dump this. And what else can we dump here? I'm going to dump the pollen for now. Jump back down. There. We actually need whetstone very badly there, so... <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Alright, so we're eight minutes in. Or eight minutes left. This guy has a good base spot. We do still need... Oh, we actually got all the blood roses from that one guy. So, we're going to keep running this way. No Lydia, which is okay. Again, would have been ideal, but it's not that big of a deal. If I can't find it, what is going on here? My bags are filled. These guys are having fun. So look, look at this. Look how many blood roses around this area. See how many there are here? They always grow here. Always. So if you're running up to get a horse and you don't have any blood rose, check this spot. I know it seems like, you know, maybe it seems obvious to you, but just make sure you're doing it. Normally I would stop there to get some of the rocks let's like get some of those gems like to, I, need, you know, I need another uh, topaz but we don't have much time left in the regular pvp time so i'm gonna just take that to try to keep this like honest if that makes sense because you're not going to be able to just decide to have an hour of pvp pvp protection if you're on an official server so jump over this wall you can do that now super nice we're gonna grab a horse oh there's some horses here those are probably pretty bad I would imagine. That's why they were left there. Trash. Looking for 10 speed or higher. 8 is pretty bad. 8.5. He's out of water. He's about to die. Uh, oh gosh, that's scary. 8.3. Super bad. So, I'm not going to actually waste my time with those horses. I mean, we could grab them. I'm going to check across the street. Because a lot of times there are horses over here too. There should be one up that way. Uh, let's see. Might as well check, you know? Might as well see if we can get one that's, like, a little bit better. Because 8.2 is just so bad. There he is. <laughs> that's so good. That is insane. This is could be better, obviously. I wish it was, like, 13. But this is... That's, like, top tier. This is, like, in-game horse. Like, legitimately... I'm gonna... Wait, what? Where'd it go? My water disappeared? Whatever. Um, yeah, this is, like, top tier horse. That's insane. Very, very speedy. So we're gonna go to west. We have six minutes left to get a base. Um, I would, if we find Lydia on the way down, that would be cool. But we probably won't because she doesn't patrol up top here. Uh, there's a patrol path she does. I'm gonna run this way to see if I can't catch her. And hopefully we can pick a nice base location. If there, hopefully there's something on the west side. Um, th now, because the server has already started, I'm, you know, very aware that it's not likely I'll be able to find a spot exactly where I want, but we will still, you know, on a regular server, a, a fresh server anyway, this wouldn't be the case. There wouldn't be, you know, every single thing claimed completely by the time you get in, unless you're like a day late. So, um, okay, we're gonna run this way. Actually, went the wrong way for the Lydia spawn. So we'll go down this way. She, I think her patrol path is actually south of this. Mm 
Now, you don't have to memorize her patrol path like I am. I know this is like really nerdy right now. I'm just doing it because it's something I have, information I have. But don't worry. Okay, so there's a base by here, right here. This is actually pretty solid. But I have another, I have a new preference for base locations. Oh, there's Tristan. We don't want to worry about him. You are my target. She likes to patrol this way. So I have a new favorite base spot on this side, which I, I'm very confident it's going to be taken, but I figure I might as well check uh, just in case. Oh my goodness, what is this? Just in, just in case, it's this spot here is my new, my new favorite spot, so we might as well check it. This is Decayed. That's going to have a lot of loot in it. I probably could just yoink, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, see, that's Taken. So do we just check this real quick and see what's going on? I don't want to. I'm not going to take the loot. I don't think because it's going to cheese this thing so much. We're just going to destroy the castle. Uh, whoops. Just going to destroy the castle heart. And then we'll take this spot here. This is going to be good enough. Four minutes to get base walls down. So that's why I'm doing this. And destroy. So like, there's all this loot over there. I kind of want to look just for fun, you know. Um, castle. Oh, we haven't done the we haven't done walls yet. We'll break down those in a sec for a second here. Ah. All right. Do we check the? Do we check this just for fun? I think we check it just for fun. <laughs> Nothing. I could probably grab those. Not that big a deal. All right. So there's a couple things in there that are like kind of cool that we probably would want normally. Uh, but I I'm not going to grab. So, like, obviously you can find stuff like this, like I'm doing now. Like, it's not like it's impossible to find things like this. I'll grab some coins, <laughs> I guess. Maybe that's, like, cheating. But, I mean, how do I have? I mean, I already had 23, whatever. It's no big deal. Like, you can check all this. All right. We're going to just hit some rocks now. Because <laughs> that's a little silly that we grabbed that. But, I mean, look. You will find loot, you will find windfalls. You'll also get stomped and lose loot, but you will find things. So I know that sounds goofy. All we took was some coins. That's just going to help us with the with speeding up, like getting stuff to make sure we can get forge floors when that happens. So um, otherwise, we have two minutes left to get our base stuff down. Foundation. Um, this is not ideal to put it here. But we will put this here. We can move our heart later. The castle heart is starving. I must feed it. We'll need some of that. So I wonder. I've always wanted to try this. Oh, can't do that yet. Okay. We have to knock these three. We have to knock. We put place three floors, which means we have to knock these down. And we only have two minutes left of regular PvP protection. Okay, use some shade here. Uh, we'll need this. We'll actually need to take this as well. Recognize my power. And so we need to do our palisades. But we'll need to block all of this off. We can get we t we can't get bat formed anymore, which is super nice. We would usually have to like. On a new server like this, if I was really trying to make sure I wasn't going to die, I would have to like bat, or I have to wall off like everything. So, oh yeah, we have to do this. Oh, gosh, it's so annoying. I don't like how they did their thing with these foundations. That's something that I don't really understand. Like, why do you have to have? You know, why can't you place it on just a floor? But can you do regular borders? So you block by environment. So dumb. Just let me push something underneath this. You know, if I have to break it, I have to break it, but. Uh, it just feels very odd to have to do that in the, before you can even place your walls, you know? Alright, so we are safe. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six walls, that's a pretty solid... That's like not that much to have to worry about. So definitely glad that we didn't have to do a ton of walls. There are some base locations that take a really long time. Uh, we're going to do this. We'll use our special little Halloween coffin there. Halloween stash. 
And we'll place one of these guys. Do I want to put bones in it? Not really. I'll keep it there for now. To be sure. Now we want to do some stuff like this. So look, we had enough planks that we can just immediately make this. See that? That's why we like those planks. Now we're going to do one, two. We don't have enough leather for anything else. So which we're going to do, uh, what is this, three, four. And then we need, okay, we can make, oh yeah, Blood Rose Ring. And I could just make a cloak, I guess. Ah, we'll grab the one from this box. There was one in this box here. So, uh, I want to grab those, but I'm not going to. <laughs> It'll make my life so much easier. Oh, we'll grab some bones. Let's just, okay, let's just look. Is there anything in here that, like, wouldn't be too cheesy? Like, more bones. Uh, Blood Rage, we don't need this. Um, Spectral Wolf, like, this would be nice later on. This would be nice to be able to craft, but it'd be too cheesy. This is for the research desk, so there we go. <laughs> Simple garden. Uh, I'll grab some bricks, too. That's it. I know, I know, I know. It's like, what? That, you, know, you got something for free, but whatever. Whatever. Um, all right. Uh, I don't really care about these, honestly. I probably should care about them, but for now, I, I won't. Uh, it's so hard to say no to this. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's, it'd be too cheesy. Okay, you're not going to just walk into a fresh server and do that. You could definitely walk in and, you know, obviously the bricks is like, that's a little bit of a time save. It's only 17 bricks or 17 like rounds of stone. But the other stuff, we'll keep it, we'll keep it legit. Okay, we have enough to build this. We need more stone to build another one of those. But in the meantime, we're going to toss our copper in. We're going to need a little bit more whenever we make a second one. We also need to make one of these. This will not work. And toss that in there. And since we, we have increased refinement time on this server, um, which is just, it's going to help us speed up a little bit in terms of, like, playing the game. You know, I don't want to have to sit here for too long and make this take too forever making this guide. So we're now past the 30-minute mark. Uh, cutting some stone here for some more furnaces. We'll at least do two furnaces. On a normal server, we'd probably do three on a solo and four for a duo. You can definitely use four as a duo as well. I mean, you can use more than that. When you get to ultra late game and you're making like a ton of stuff, you're, if you're trying to do it fast, then making like five isn't really a bad thing. I usually just cap it at four though. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be enough for that. We'll make another one of these. And here's some bricks. We'll toss the rest in there. There we go. And we have some planks going. And so now we're going to go... Oh, okay, that was bad. Go like this. So I'm actually going to... How much wood do we have? Not too much. We're going to get a little bit more wood. Uh, because I need... Let me do this, actually. We already have planks going. And we'll toss... Oops, we'll toss this in. And go cut down some trees. Not a lot of trees up here, which is kind of weird, but maybe they'll grow back here in a little bit. Another thing that's really nice to keep pay attention to in your area is copper nodes. Some of these bases have a lot of copper nodes just, like, inside the base. And if you have stuff like that, try not to build over them early on if you can. Do, like, everything you can in the beginning to just keep them there, like, where the nodes are spawning. Because the more you can keep them... Like this, you have a couple of them here. There's three, I think, actually. The more you can keep these without, like, you know, getting rid of them, the better. The more copper you'll have for later on. Which we're doing this copper now because we're going to need... This is going to be really crazy. We're thinking very far ahead here. And I could be rushing, but I, I want to say... I, I just want to get myself set up a little bit more for after what's going to happen next. So this kind of just farming a little bit of copper... Is not, you know, farming copper early is definitely going to save you time in the future. So, we'll farm these. And then we're going to grab our gear and go. And finish the rest of tier one. I know you're probably thinking, what? It's only, you just put your base down. What do you mean, finish the rest of tier one? Well, I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, toss this in here. Uh, storage, we're going to build another stash because I want, I want to be able to get this stuff 
inside stuff we need um just kind of just tossing anything wherever um we're actually gonna do this all right we'll toss these two we don't need those and now we are level 23 can we even track the Lydia at 23? We can. So look at that. So 23, we can track Lydia. But we actually have enough of these already. So we're actually going to make our mace, which is what the thing was going to be. Uh, what do we need here? Research desk. So we need planks and rugged hide. So we'll get this. We had a little bit of planks in here, I think it was. Right here. Or not planks, wood. Which again, like I said, we're going to need more wood for sure. Um, but that's okay. In the meantime, we're just going to toss everything in here. Now we have a mace. Alright, and... Last but not least, I just realized it might be nice to make a couple of... Couple of these when we get a moment. Oh, whoops! We need that. All right, so we're twenty-five. Now we're gonna go kill Lydia and finish off the rest of tier one. Okay, so it said that she's this way. Hmm. Believe she's this way here. She's far away. Okay. So this is really nice to be able to check to see exactly how far she is. This does go this way, so she's close now. Up this way, maybe? A lot of times she likes to walk along this way. Okay, she's, they're saying this way. Okay. So probably up this road, this path over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trees. Very close. And where are you, Lydia? Eminent, there she is. My death. Toss the dice. Well, All right. Super easy boss, you can kill her at level 10. She has two moves. Kind of like Keely, she has two moves. I know she's level 30, but trust me when I say she's very easy. Dash behind her. She has that move. And then think on your feet. So we counter. And she can't turn fast enough. See that? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do this. One, two, dash. See that? So you wait for the second shot to fire. You wait for the second shot to fire. And then you just dash right as she fires the second shot. And you don't attack after. And you will not get hit. So watch. One, two. Two, dash. And we keep smacking her. Oh, we got on fire here. It's not really that big a deal. Dash through it. So she's probably going to think on her feet in a second here. Yep, so we're just going to run. Watch. No big deal. Alright, she's there. Dash behind her. Think on your feet. See that? Easy enough. There we go. All right. We got Lydia. Um, I'm not gonna use that jewel. The jewel said like second hit explodes. That's really bad. So, I'm not gonna even worry about that. All right. And we'll grab some mats, because we will definitely need mats. Like the stones and the, and the lumber, it's nice to just grab these while you're out, because that it just saves you farming time. Okay, so now we have Chaos Volley. Which, while it has been nerfed like four times or something now, I don't even know how many times it's been nerfed, like a, a ton of times, it's still insane for bossing. So, so we're going to just use that to do the next part of... Oh, I went the wrong way. 
to the next part of this run, which is we are going straight to Bear. And I'm going to show you how weak, how far Bear has fallen. Oh gosh, don't hit me. There we go. Probably should have brought my coins, but it's usually not safe to just like bring your coins everywhere you go. Um, unless you just don't care about losing them. Oh, let me go through this. Run through here. Princess Kamali. Take a little shortcut here. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm trying to get shot off. <laughs> now we are going to bear here. It's going to be daytime soon, but we're in bear cave, so we don't care about daytime. Hmm. I don't know if I can run through that anymore, so we're just going to go like this. There we go. I guess I could have ran this way, my bad. <laughs> okay. So, Bear's fight is now significantly easier than it used to be. I'm going to craft this because we, it's always good to have potions on hand. I know I just said, like, hey, it's really easy and I'm crafting potions, but it's always important just in case. But his fight is way easier than it used to be. Way, 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 way easier. So, um, you used to have to, you know, horse lord him, like a lot of people would do. They would sit here and fight him on horseback. But now, in my opinion, it's, like, not really even worth worrying about. You kind of can just kill him. If you have Chaos Volley, it helps a lot. And I'll show you what I mean. Oh, we'll dash out of this. We want to dash away from this. Okay, so he's going to swipe at us. He missed. Look how slow he goes now. I mean, look at that. He's going to stomp. We're going to dash. One, two. Counter. And hit him with this. Dash out of this. <laughs> I mean, see what I'm saying? So eventually he's going to charge up and get angry. That's where it gets a little tricky. Oh, I got hit. Because I was being lazy there. Again, I'm being, like, very lazy with this. But I can just run away. Look, I mean... But he's going to charge up. So watch this. Attack. Dash. Okay, so he didn't fall for it. Which is fine. There we go. The only, other, the only other move we haven't seen him do yet. The only other move we haven't seen him do yet is his dash. This oh, he's gonna get mad. Like he even walk away from that. I mean, you see that? That's insane. Alright, there we go. Alright, so the only thing we haven't seen is, is his dash at us, his dash attack. probably gonna dash us soon there it is and what you do whenever you see him wind up like that is you actually all you have to do is um <laughs> sorry i'm being a little crazy there all you need to do whenever you see him do that that dash attack is uh let's go like this there we go is just strafe all you have to do is strafe oh strafe Dash. Oh. Strafe. Oh, I was too close. That's okay. I mean, it doesn't really do tons of damage. <laughs> it's not really that big a deal. Yeah, all you should be doing is strafing in that situation. So he might charge at us. He's a little too close. I could have strafed that, but he was a little close. I didn't want to get hit. I know you're like, hey, you just said strafe. You didn't strafe. But... Oh, see, like I'm being greedy. That was me being greedy. Like, queuing onto him. Do that again. I was too slow. Alright, strafe. Alright. But again, I'm too close. I probably could have just strafed that, but I just would rather not risk it now. But usually you can just strafe it. So. Or you can counter it. Watch, we're gonna back up. He doesn't hit us. Doesn't hit us. Strafe. 
Strafe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there's Bear. So we're now at 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes to be started. Bear is dead. Daytime, halfway through. New knowledge acquired. Uh, let's see. Anything else we need in here? Uh, we don't... I mean, Hell's Clarion is really good for later on, so maybe we'll grab that. Except it's, like, impossible to do now from Warspec. It's <laughs> funny. All right, we're getting out of here. We're gonna to need to top up on blood, and we're gonna go. We're going to now go kill Quincy. Um, that may seem daunting, but I promise, level twenty-five is more than enough if you if you understand and you learn his moves. Now, if this is too crazy for you, and you're just in here thinking like, "Did what you? I can't kill Quincy at twenty-five. That's way too low for me." What I would suggest is getting your merciless or sorry getting yeah merciless copper weapon get that you know grind until you have that and then if you're still not comfortable grind until you have your um night stalker full night stalker set so at that point you'll be level 30 and he'll be 30 i think 37 they've reduced his level by one i believe um from the old version so that will be enough just that alone, just that that small little boost, five more levels should be enough to really just crush him. Um, I'll show you the fight. I'll break it down for you. It's very simple. So we have 13 minutes to do. I'm going to try to get it under an hour here. We have 13 minutes to do that. Obviously, under an hour we have increased crafting some time, but you'll understand. Like this is a pretty like this is not unreasonable. What's happening here is not unreasonable. Like even with the increased crafting time. Um. You don't actually have to do this with the weapons that I'm doing, or the things I'm doing it with, so. What you got? Five Brute? Oh, I thought I had... My bad. We'll suck that. Okay. We need whetstones. We definitely need whetstones still. All right, we're gonna grab our horse and we're just gonna ride through this camp. We don't need to worry about these guys. So just check out this line here. Right up the stairs. Run to the left here. Be a little sneaky guy, run between there. Run up these stairs. Go along the back here. And park our horse right over here. And these guys are probably gonna come after us here. Oh, they didn't. Nice. Okay. So it's pretty much nighttime. So we are going to head up and kill this dude up here. So they're going to chase us. That's okay. We're just going to go run over this side. And that should be more than enough to drop aggro. Another notch on my belt. There we go. Alright, so it's nighttime. Whenever he does this move, we're backing up. First thing we want to do is take care of these ads. And then, so at the very beginning stage phase of this fight, he has two moves. The swing and a miss, and the counter. And the counter, or the, the sorry, the counter, the, the shield slam. So shield slam, and then the baseball bat smack. Baseball bat smack, we can counter, we can counter both of those moves. And then I just, so when he does the shield slam, I walk backwards to give myself more space. Wait, is this? You can just dash through. You don't want to put your back to the wall if you can avoid it. So he's going to slam us. And then we'll walk backwards, walk backwards. Dash through. Like I said, you don't want to put your back to the wall. So he hit us there. No big deal. He's a skull to us, right? It really is not that big a deal. Back up. Oh, we're going to strafe. So when he does that move, you immediately start strafing. You, you can, you'll be able to stop it. Like, perpendicular to him. Alright, we're backing up. Dash through. Because we don't want to be in the corner. We can counter this. See, right there. You don't have to, but I would normally I would strafe there. And we're just hitting with Chaos Volleys and backing up. 
In the corner, what do we do? We leave. Like strafe. See? There we go. Perpendicular. If you straight perpendicular, you're good. Alright, this is the next phase. It's whenever he does the, the shield counter. So we have to keep that in mind now. Again, you can counter it, you can dodge it, you can strafe it. It really Oh, here it comes. Okay, that works. Okay, I didn't I know if it was gonna counter me. So in the old version that wouldn't have actually hurt me. Dash through him. There we go. The old version that wouldn't have hurt me. Like he wouldn't have been able to reflect me, but I wanted to make sure that was the case. <laughs> that sounds silly, but counter this. There we go. Back up, and we're gonna strafe. There, nice. All right, he's almost half. We're taking a little bit of damage. This is the only thing we need to worry about now. Shift focus. Dash through because we're a little bit in a weird spot there. So that guy's. I can suck him now. There we go. Counter. Do a little damage with that counter. We'll dash. Because I don't want to get caught there. Right, he's going to he's gonna shield soon. There it is. Ooh. Got me there. That's fine. So look, I'm half HP. But he just dropped all this. Back up here. And we'll use this time here to go the other way. And get this. So here we go. Strafe. Back up. And look, our health is pretty much back to where it was. He's going to shield. See, it's been a while. He's going to shield. Strafe. Volley. He's going to slam now. Yep. Okay. See, as you get the rhythm down of like what his moves are, it's really not that complicated. He's probably going to shield soon. Oh, he's going to dash. There we go. Shield's coming. There it is. I wanted to hit him before he did it. Okay, so now he's going to do this. We can dash once and leave it. And now he's going to dash at us. And we smack. Alright, so he's bringing another friend. What do we do here? We back up. See, but now we have his number. We, we, know what he's, we know what he's done. What he can do. We've seen every one of his moves. So, at this point, we have nothing to worry about. Alright. Another slam. We back up. Stand here. Oh, he's doing this. We're going to dash. I'm going to hit that. And then he's going to go after us. We strafe. Oops. Lost track of my mouse there for a second. Ooh, got hit. That's okay. Alright. Oh, I thought he was going <laughs> to... I thought he was going to do something else. Alright. Browsing battle, probably, or he's going to call for help. Oh, he's doing his normal move. Oh, all right, we're back up. Dash. Oh, he hit us anyway. We countered that. That was scary. So, that was unfortunate we got hit by that. Uh, but that's why we have these potions, right? Like, this is super simple for me. But you, you never know when you're going to need to pop a potion. I'm going to just in case, because we don't want to die. Shield coming. There it is. Then we'll hit with this. Dash. He's probably going to dash at us. Okay, he's calling friends. We're going to focus him now. Dash. Or strafe. 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 Oof. What in the world was that? That was crazy. There we go. <laughs> and we got him. So, that's 25, 54 minutes here. The, the most time we saved was crafting the copper mace. I mean, that was really all we saved time-wise. Which, if you think about it, six minutes would have been enough time to get the copper bars we needed. So, like, in reality, you know, this could be this is basically an hour run. Alright? So, there we have it. Oh, we got another Shadow Bolt thing. That's kind of cool. We'll toss that in there. Uh, so, now, we are... Bait, we are done with tier one. The next step would be to get a merciless copper weapon, which we already have um, the recipe for. So we're going to stop it there, though. That'll be the next episode is what to do after this. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. This has been episode one of Alpha to Adam, and we will catch you in the next one.